Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Reshade. That's right, folks. Reshade is a... It's for really for graphic. It's a graphic mod and it adds different type of presets to your game to kind of enhance your gameplay a little bit more. Okay. So um, with this one right here, I encourage everybody to, when you come to this page, of course, read everything that's here on this page. All right. Then when you get down to the bottom where it says download, you want to download Reshade 4.6.1. That is the current one as of April 14th, 2020. Okay. Once you have this downloaded right here, the next link that you are going to go to will lead you to GTA 5 Redix page. Okay. We are not going to be installing the GTA 5 Redix, but we will need some files that GTA 5 Redix comes with. Okay. So when you get down to this link that will lead you to this page, you want to download the current one, which is V1.8 and select this green download link to download it. All right. So once you have both of those downloaded, on my left hand side I have a folder with two downloads. Uh, the first one is GTA 5 Redix V1.8 and we have Reshade Setup 4.6.1. Okay. And on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go. Okay. Now let's go back over to our downloads where we had a Reshade Setup 4.6.1. Point six point one, and what we want to do is just select it and double click it once you double click it this little window will pop up it's a reshade setup okay um, you want to click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation so go ahead and select this then it will find all of the um, the GTA 5.exe's that is on your computer all right now what I like to do is select browse right here then I like to go ahead and find my game files which I have found right here then once you have found your game files you want to select GTA 5.exe okay that will be this one right here that just says GTA 5 by itself okay it'll be GTA 5 application once you have selected that go ahead and select open that will let Reshade know exactly where you want to install it at, okay? So for me right now, I already have it installed, but I'm still going to install it. So I'm going to select update, all right? For you, it will just say install, so select install. After you select install, you will uh, see this one page right here where it will have a list of different presets that you can select, okay? So you can go ahead and select any of these that you want right here. These are pretty, uh, pretty much all cool and they all have their different, um, different effects that they add as well. Okay. So after you have checked the ones that you want, come down here at the bottom where it says, okay. All right. And then this will pop up. You want to select, okay. And then keep selecting. Okay. Every time you see a list until you get to right here. Okay. Also make sure that you select this in the beginning. You want to select direct 3d, um, either one that you have on your computer for mine's windows 10, uh, we have, um, direct 3d 10, 11 and 12. Okay. So for computers, there might be a uh, windows, um, windows eight or seven, you might need to select the direct 3d nine. Okay. So after the setup for reshade has been successful, you will get a message saying reshade setup was successful. Go ahead and exit out, or you could go ahead and edit your reshade settings. Me personally, I don't edit them. I leave them just like they are, but if you're advanced and you know what you're doing, feel free to click edit reshade settings. If not, you could click the, the X to close out of that window. All right. Now that that has been closed out, what we need to do now is open up our GTA 5 Redix V 1.8 folder. Once that is open, let's open up our GTA 5 Redix Reshade folder. Inside this folder, what we want to do right now is highlight everything except the README. Okay, so we highlighted everything inside this folder except the README. 
and what we're going to do is simply drag and drop everything that we highlighted right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, I have mine, as you can see, I already have it. Now that that has been done, folks, we are all good to go. Let's go ahead and minimize any of these windows that we have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, uh, what you want to do is press the home key button on your uh, keyboard. So press home. That will open up uh, this menu on the left side of your screen. Now this menu on the left side of your screen, uh, you're gonna have to operate with uh, your mouse right here. Um, they also have a tutorial, so if this is your first time installing it, it will uh, have a, like a tutorial. So we'll just walk you through the different um, features that the tabs offer, okay? So once you get through that, what you wanna do is select this right here. Once you select this top bar right here, it will have all of your presets in this drop down menu. Okay, all of the presets that we just um, installed from our Redix folder is now in here. And you can even see some of them say Redix Ultra and uh, different things like that, okay? So any one of these, you can go ahead and select. Once you select them, you will see instantly it will take effect in the background on your game, okay? This is the Who's Blue. And uh, this will be uh, Vivid right here. Okay, as you can see, uh, you know, some presets offer more contrast than the others um, or just different um, different effect completely. Uh, the let any, this one makes everything a little bit more brighter, as you can see. Um, let's see, uh, reshade, any note, this one right here, Redix Ultra V3, okay. Um, and the one that I like using the most will have to be, uh, where is it at in here? It to be a Redix Original. All right, Redix Original. All right, there we go. Ultra V, Ultra V2, and Ultra V3, okay? So try out all these different uh, presets. Uh, this is other right here also. Um, we got colorful, realistic right there. Um, let's see. And also once you choose a preset, you could come over here and um, you could you know uncheck or check different things that you want it to look like. So when I check nostalgia, as you can see, it changes it. It, <laughs> it looks weird, look like a comic book almost. All right, so you could also adjust different uh, things inside the preset that you have chosen, okay? The presets are already preset, all right? That's what they call presets. So you can go inside and uh, configure the preset to your liking at any time, okay? I'm going to pick uh, dark and realistic right there. There we go. So after you get done picking uh, whichever one that you want, then you could scroll down, select reload. And then you'll see a bar at the top of the screen and they'll be letting you know that um, everything is reloading and that it, it reloaded the preset, okay? So after you're done with that, you can press the home button again and that will exit out. And if this pops up right here, just go ahead and press escape and you will exit out of that as well, okay? So now we got our new preset going on and every time that you reload the game, your preset will automatically load in, okay? So you don't have to do this every time you turn on the game. It will be saved and automatically load in on its own, all right? So, uh, yep, that's going to be it for this, folks. Um, if you also wanted more reshade presets, uh, feel free to check on GTA 5 Mods website. They also have some presets on there as well, um, as well as some other websites on the Internet right so uh this is going to do it for us folks is if, if this helped y'all out to install reshade and all the presets man go ahead and smash that like button for your boy definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics me and your boy big bowling ass frank we are out of here till next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.